Module 3 – E-Etiquette The goal of this module is for the viewer to be able to use email as an effective business tool. Email is a part of our daily lives. We communicate updates, changes in policy, trainings, and meetings through email. How can we communicate more clearly and effectively through email? There are several simple rules to follow when using email. Do not type in all caps. There are two reasons for this. One, typing in all capital letters means you are yelling or screaming at the reader. And two, reading all capital letters is more difficult and it takes more time. Do not leave the subject field blank. This field indicates the topic of your email. Always use a friendly greeting and closing in your email. This holds true for chat and IM conversations as well. Keep messages clear and concise. Use proper sentence structure as well as capitalization and punctuation. Just as in any conversation, use courteous language. Remember your email could be forwarded to others, printed, and circulated. Once you hit send, you're not getting that email back. Read and reread before sending the email. Proofread your email for spelling and grammar errors, but also for tone. Reply and reply to all do two different things. Reply allows you to send a response to the person who sent the email. In this example, Elizabeth Long sent the email. When I use the reply button, an email is sent to only her. Reply to all allows you to send a reply to everyone who is listed on the email. If I click on reply to all in this email, it will send an email to Elizabeth Long, Megan Gilpin, and Linda Musser. Be timely with follow-up replies. When sending attachments, be courteous and ask if it's okay to send a large file. You also want to be sure that the recipient has the software necessary to open the attachment. In your email, you should include a signature line. Your name, position, and contact information are valuable in an email. These important email skills will allow you to provide a level of courtesy and professionalism to both our patrons and our colleagues.